It's Dice, and I am back with another tutorial. This one's going to be an animation as requested. I've been kind of slow getting tutorials up, I've noticed. College has been a bit uh, hectic along with some other things. So I'm hoping that I will be able to get tutorials up much faster. But anyways, um, in Adobe Photoshop 7.0, in order to do animation, you need Image Ready installed. If you have CS, CS2, or CS3, you will go to Window, and there will be an Animation menu for you to click. But 7.0 does not have that. So for this tutorial, if you are using one of the CS versions, you can everything is going to be exactly the same except I'm going to be in image ready but it's the same menu that is in the animation menu in Photoshop CS editions the thing about animations is you cannot have everything on the same layer I have two layers this animation I'm going to do something really simple considering this is a very basic tutorial uh, I'm going to make this bunny rabbit fade into this cat. Uh, these are two buttons that I made um, to, on a wallpaper. I just extracted them off of it. You guys can use whatever you want. Layers in animation are important. Whatever, If you want to like fade something into something else, whatever you're fading, if it, whatever the starting image is, the end has to be on a different layer than the image that you're going to fade it into. So I have my layer 1 and layer 2 and I'll be la fading layer 2 into layer 1. For Adobe for Adobe Photoshop 7.0 users we're going to click jump to image ready or control shift M it will take a while to load depending on the size of your picture of course if you are in CS editions you will not have that problem <laughs> um you can see I already have two layers I had worked on this previously so originally yours would have just one layer and it would be both the same there are two ways to fade things there's a loop which is the easiest way or you can do it manually by changing each layer opacity which I can explain later first of all I want to decide you want to decide what how long you want each frame to display I'm going to say 0.02 seconds you can make it whatever you want zero or one. I'm just picking a random thing because I'm not going to use this for the web or anything. So I'm not going to be too picky. Um, this will duplicate the current. F this will duplicate the current frame, and it will be the exact replica of this. Now the one thing you have to know is these layers are different from these. Yes, these are the same now, but you'll notice if I go up here on layer, notice this is animation layer 2, and I change this one to the opacity of 0, this one is still on 100, and this one is on 0. Or you could just make it easier and just turn that layer off altogether. But I like to do it this way. If you turn off a document's layer here, like this one, if I turn this off on layer frame animation 1, you'll notice it disappears here. They are all based on this one. So do not turn off the layers. Um, forever you can decide how long you want it to play. I could play it 100 times or infinitely or once whichever you want now if you this is tweens tweens 
are basically going to merge layers together. Um, if you have them both selected, you will be able to have the selection. So like if I have both of them selected, if you hold down the control key you can select both. You can only have the selection, but considering you don't have any other frames besides these ones, you just have those ones selected. You can only have next frame, you can only have selection and not next frame or last frame. But I'm going to do this, the next frame, last frame, this is the last frame and the first frame, whichever. I'm going to have it be all layers. The parameters, if I was moving the position, I would leave this one on. I'm not going to use any effects in this one. I'm going to change the opacity. So it's going to take, notice it added 20 frames. The more frames you have, the more frames to add you have, the smoother it will be. And you will notice it gradually changes to the cat. They will all take on the same second amount as the ones you have it merging with. Now I'm going to undo this so that I can show you the position one. I'm going to go on, notice it is the second animation layer. I'm going to move this one up off the screen or to resource, I mean. So you will only be able to see the resource part after this. And I'm still going to have it with the opacity. Notice, zero. In this instance, I will select them both this time. You don't have to, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have it on all layers again. And this time I need to change the position because this image is going from here up. And I'm still going to add 20 frames, so I'll hit OK. And then hit play. It will keep going on and on because mine has forever. Now if I wanted to save this image for it, you have to save optimized as notice it's a GIF and you can pick your directory name it and it will save as your as an animation keep in mind that if you exit out of this it will still save everything you've done in image ready in Photoshop 7.0 even if you save it as a PSD and work on it later. I hope this tutorial helped out people with animation and I'm going to get another video out as soon as possible.